I remember the first time someone told me, you're doing a great job with your kids, considering the sentence trailed off, leaving me to fill in the blanks. I knew what they meant. They meant considering you're a man. I could see it in their eyes, the surprise, the unexpected commendation, as if being a loving and devoted father was a novelty simply because I was a man. But let me tell you something. It's hard, man. It's really hard. And not just because I'm a single father, but because single fatherhood is understated, undervalued, almost a hidden chapter in the book of parenting. I'll tell you my story, the story of how I became a single father to my beautiful daughter, Emma. I met Lucy when we were both young and full of dreams. We married, settled down, and soon, Emma came into our lives. She was the joy of our existence, the embodiment of our love. But love sometimes withers, dreams change, and paths diverge. Lucy and I grew apart. One day, she told me she was leaving, that she couldn't handle the pressures of family life, that she needed to find herself. She left, leaving me with Emma, then just three years old. I was devastated, angry, and confused. We hear so much about men abandoning their children, but women do it too. It happened to me. I had to navigate the labyrinth of single parenthood without a map. The sleepless nights, the tantrums, the school runs, the cooking, the cleaning. I became the mom and dad, friend and disciplinarian, provider and caretaker. It was overwhelming, but there was no other option. Emma needed me. The judgment I faced was palpable. At parent-teacher meetings, at the park, at the grocery store, I could see the stares, the raised eyebrows. People would often ask, where's her mother? Or, must be hard doing this all by yourself. Yes, it's hard, but not because I'm a man. It's hard because parenting is hard. There were days when I would break down in tears, unsure if I could continue. But every time I felt like giving up, I would look into Emma's trusting eyes, hear her innocent laughter, feel her tiny hand in mine, and find the strength to carry on. Time passed and we found our rhythm. Emma and I became an unbreakable team. We developed our rituals, our secrets, our jokes. I learned to braid her hair, to comfort her when she was scared, to encourage her when she doubted herself. And guess what? I realized that single fatherhood is not a tragedy. It's a badge of honor. It's a testament to resilience, adaptability, and unconditional love. Now, Emma is a thriving teenager, confident, intelligent, and kind. She's my pride, my friend, my life. And when she looks at me and says, Dad, I love you, I know that I've done right by her. So here's to all the single fathers out there who stand tall, who fight the good fight, who love without reservation. We deserve recognition, not because we're men doing a woman's job, but because we're parents doing the most vital job in the world. It's hard, man, but it's the most rewarding thing you'll ever do. Don't let the stereotypes define you. Don't let judgment wear you down. Love your children, be there for them, and know that you're enough. Single fathers, we deserve accolades too. We're not just filling in, we're stepping up, and we're doing it with grace, courage, and endless love.